So, you want to learn how to box. Well, step one, order something off Amazon. Step two, take whatever you ordered out of the box. Step three, get inside the box. Step four, you're done. Hey guys, we're about to by Kai. I'm, I'm Kai, and today we're back once again. And today I want to kind of do something a little different here. Um, so, the video you see playing right now is a video, is a project that I was working on um, for the, the bulk of the day. Not the bulk of the day, but it was around like maybe an hour and a half or something like that, an hour and 20 minutes. Um, but, um, so essentially what I want to do is I want to break down a couple of things that I was doing in this um, this project, this specific type of style, which is like this super snappy motion graphic kind of like professional looking thing. And we've done all of these things in separate tutorials. So if you want an in-depth breakdown of anything, let me know down in the comments below and I'll link you uh, one of the videos that is um, going more in depth of the uh, of, of whatever you're you're, you're needing you know um, but for today um, I want to go ahead and kind of just talk about what my process was through most of this like uh, like you know that we we usually do and typically do with um, with things like this so um, the biggest thing that I'm that I'm trying to keep in mind while I'm making this is that I need everything to be super super snappy that's that's what I'm going for I'm kind of going for like a super snappy kind of um clean look um which can be kind of hard to achieve sometimes when you're when you don't have much to work with or you don't want to include much so um the biggest thing i'm trying to keep in mind is i want everything to be very very clean and i don't want it to look i don't want it to look messy at all i don't want it to look cluttered I want it to be as literally as plain and as simple as it can be. I even at one point start going through the motions to make some super fast scrolling text. And I, I eventually get rid of it because it's just too much. Like I want it to be super simple. So one of the things that I want to tell you is um, try to keep your animations, especially when you're doing motion graphics, try to keep your animations and your screen space. So anything on, anything on screen, try to keep it extremely simple. Now, that's not saying that you, you can only do like minimalistic type motion graphics that's not what i mean what i mean is when you when you start going overboard and you start adding this and you start adding that and things start piling up it can get a little difficult to see what's going on and one of the bi biggest things about motion graphics is of course the motion so if, if the motion is kind of getting lost a little bit in all of the clutter of everything you've added then it might not be the best idea to keep adding things you know what i mean so um I have three different things going on in this scene well technically four actually i have the immediate text that comes up I have the first logo and then the second logo, and then I have this cool little border that goes around the screen and kind of like has this cool texture on it. I, I, I was trying to decide if I want to do a color for this border. You'll see the border in a second. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll do it eventually, but it was one of the last things that I did actually. But. I was trying to decide if I wanted to do a color here, and usually the way that art works for the most part, and the way that I my art, my art works rather, um, or I think it looks the best, is when you have everything as a simple, simple, straightforward color, so like a white or black or something like that, and then you have one accent color. So if you ever like, if you're a realtor, you'll know this, because I know I have a lot of realtors that love my channel. Um, Accent walls are a big thing in houses. So like you'll have one wall that's red or one wall that's blue or green or something like that. And that's essentially what this is in art as well. So I wanted to have something in the, in, in the scene in this motion graphic set that was a one color. Um, and that one color would stand out and it would be the accent to the motion graphics. But I actually wound up leaving, every, leaving everything white and gray because it just looks really really sweet and the coolest thing in the bowl the easiest thing rather is that um i knew what this was going to be used for and because i knew what what it would be used for is going to be a lot of different colors and a lot of different things going on, on the screen i i decided to leave everything the one color and then the the rest of what's going on will be the accent color for um for the project so like i said keep in mind the the colors don't want to be too cluttered don't want to be too crazy with everything um, and the, the other thing that I really wanted to mention while doing this, something that I found, moving the, <laughs> moving the, and this is gonna, all going to be personal preference mostly, but moving the camera as opposed to moving the objects in the scene is not necessarily the best idea. So when you're doing motion graphics, um, a lot of the times you'll need to move the, uh, 
the camera to get an effect that you that you might want um, but the issue with that is specifically in blender I'm sure other programs might work this way as well but specifically in blender if you move some if you move the camera instead of an object motion blur will not work so if you want motion blur then that's going, going to be an issue obviously um, for my specific scene today I actually did not enable motion blur but just something to keep an eye out for if you're going to um, want motion blur then you can't move the camera you have to move the the items in the scene um, so that's something as well and the last thing that I want to touch on is you see here I'm doing this this little border now um, and I kind of it's kind of started getting a little too cute or what I don't even know how to describe it but it started getting a little too playful with all the colors that was going on if you can't really tell even like the smooth softer like more ambient colors it just started looking a little playful and I didn't want to look like that so I I wound up getting rid of it but um, uh, one of the best and coolest things I feel like you can do with with motion graphics is not only just pe people think of motion graphics and the first thing they think of is oh I have to move things around I have to do this motion or whatever else one of the coolest things you can do is the use of animating materials or animating colors so that's what I did for this little scene here and you'll see in the end I'll, I'll play it a couple of times um, but it's one of the coolest things to animate color or a a material in general you know what I mean so it that is a big big where once you like kind of start getting into that and kind of start doing that and thinking about motion graphics in a color way instead of just a oh I can move this around kind of way things really start to change so this is the final uh, little scene project thing that I was working on it's like I said it took about an hour and an hour and a half like completely slowly working watching things doing other things on different monitors and whatnot but um, but yeah, so this is, uh, I think it looks really good. I like the way it came out. It's, of course, 60 frames per second. I, uh, obviously, I didn't say all the ins and outs of this entire project. Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know down below. We've done everything, basically, on, on the channel before, separately, in different videos. But um, but yeah, one of the biggest things is, if you're doing motion graphics, keep everything in 60 frames per second or more, because 30 or 24 or 25 or 29 or anything is going to be very choppy. So, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.